Hello and welcome to Guitar Gear Gyan with me, Sahil Jaktiani, where we talk about all things related to the Indian guitar gear scene. And in today's episode, we're reviewing the PRS SC Custom 24. But before we get to it, make sure you click that subscribe button and ring that bell to stay up to date with all our latest videos. So I've got a PRS in the house. Yes, it's a PRS. I bought it in Hong Kong a few years back and I still love it. Okay, I love it. I, I know I haven't gotten down to reviewing it for a while, but you know, good things, you know, take time, as they say, you know, take your time with lovely instruments. You don't just rush it. You know, take your time, take your time. So I've taken my time with this instrument and I have nothing but great things to say about it. Um, the specs are phenomenal. Here are the stock specs of this guitar. Those were the stock specs of this guitar. Now let's talk about what I've done to it. I have done the two things. One, I've changed the tuners to locking tuners. So you basically need a coin and you unlock this and put your string in and voila, you've got string change done. And I put red strings to match well the look of this particular instrument. Yeah, you saw the specs, good stuff. Um, very stable trim, very, very stable. Extremely stable trim. One of the best trims I've seen on the market, even though it's a six screw trim, okay, which those trims are notorious for basically not staying in tune. This one stays in tune really well, okay. I'm very happy with it. Look at the back of that, man. Look at the flame on the back. The neck, yeah, amazing. So beautiful. And for the price they are at in India, I mean, they are a bit more expensive than they are in the States, but um, really, really worth every rupee for sure, you know. So enough jibber jabber. Ashwin going into the Neural DSP, uh, Pliny plugin VST, um, clean, crunch, high gain. Let's get to it. <laughs> Thank you. 
So that was a playthrough. What did you think? Did you like it? Now I'm going to do one more playthrough. Okay. I just want to show you a trick which I figured out with this. Uh, how to get the best sound, uh, you know, with a coil split option on this guitar. We're going to use uh, the humbuckers. Maybe just play a single chord or maybe do a few lines or something like that. And when I'm in coil split mode, I'll activate a compressor to, you know, uh, compensate for the volume drop. Now this is something I've actually done in live events and it's been super helpful, okay? It's been really, really helpful for me, especially when I'm playing, you know, those uh, spanking rhythm parts and, you know, you want, uh, you know, the sparkly cleans, but you want volume also, you don't want to have the volume drop basically. So the compressor does help a lot. I want to show you what I'm talking about. Uh, again, uh, you know, three we're playing, we're just going to keep it on a clean setting. Here you go.
So now, what did you think? With a compressor and this guitar, you literally can get every single sound that there is on the planet, right? Uh, okay, not every single sound, but you get the traddy sound and you get the you know, humbucking tone. Um, the pickups are not fabulous, but they do the job, okay? They do the job. Everything else about this guitar, I wouldn't touch. I just wouldn't touch. You know, the, uh, the other thing is whenever you get a PRS, you always get it in a gig bag with the foam protecting the headstock. And that foam is still with me. I still have it. So I protect my guitar when I'm carrying it in the case with that foam over there. It's an ingenious idea. The PRS SE line is basically still similar quality to the original PRS uh, guitar line. Of course, a lot cheaper. Way, way cheaper. Um, but I mean, other than the tops, you know, I, I just love the way they play. I think they're very, very good value for money. Um, definitely, uh, in my opinion, it's the love child of, a, of you know, a Gibson and a Fender. Uh, unique scale length also. All in all, I have nothing but great things to say about this product. I think the trem system is super stable. I think uh, the overall look is fantastic. If you want, change the pickups. But I like, I like these pickups. I also love these zebra bobbins. I think they're so cool, so very nice. Reminds me of a Les Paul Slash style guitar, but anyway, uh, that aside, looks looks great. Put locking tuners to have even more stability and uh, ease of uh, string change. So all in all, I have nothing but praise for this guitar. If you're looking for, if you're okay with a non-Fender, a non-Gibson, well then, PRS should be the way.